Hey guys, I'm Rebecca. You have a chance to win this DJI FPV drone, the case, and two batteries. We're gonna choose one of the next 100,000 subscribers to be our lucky winner. So please subscribe, good luck, and happy FPV. What's up guys? Welcome to today's review. We're gonna talk about the SG906 Max 2 edition that I have here in the case with two batteries. It's all ready to go. We're gonna go out and fly that today in this review. And honestly, what we're here for is just to give you an alternative for the drone everybody wants. And which one is that? That's the DJI Mini 3 Pro. That's $759 USD or $69 per month. Um, that comes with one battery, a 34 minute max flight time and vertical shooting, which is super cool. You can also change the aspect ratio on the SG906, which is also a thing that a lot of people don't know about the Max 2 edition. So uh, we're gonna talk about the specs in that, but on Banggood's website right now, it's looking at coming in at $269, which is a lot cheaper than $759. Uh, but what can you get for $269? Well, if you go to their site, you can also get one a little bit cheaper for $149, one for $179, um, a little less flight time, but still a similar flying drone. Each three of these drones, they all have brushless motors, GPS return to home on board, and they all actually fly really pretty good. So. Um, the one we're going to fly today again is the max edition in this review it's a flash deal right now at 269 dollars you can get it with an amberella chip whatever that is who knows uh, or a high silicone chip get the high silicone chip that sounds good to me um but with the obstacle avoidance the cool thing about this obstacle avoidance is well i've been testing this one and this one actually works um unlike some of the other toy drones that we reviewed on the channel recently this one freaking works, so that's awesome. It does work and it didn't take my head off. It didn't fly into my car and it didn't crash into a fence. It beeps on the controller and the closer it gets to something, the higher the controller beeps and eventually it will stop and won't let you press the stick any further forward and the drone will stay motionless in space. So we're gonna test that. Uh, I'm gonna fly it at myself in this video and we're gonna see how it works out um, for the live demo. You can also get it with one battery, three batteries, or two batteries. Um, with three batteries, it's probably gonna be more expensive, obviously $339. Two batteries are gonna be $324 and one battery looks like $269. So uh, with around a 30 minute flight time, 4K camera, electronic stabilization on here, it has brushless 1806 motors, 1700 KV, super sweet. And it has 30 amp ESCs, which is similar to uh, some of the early days of race drones. It does come with a controller battery that's built into the controller, which I love. It is a 3S1S 1300 lipo battery inside here um and that's pretty cool but the big thing on this drone is guys 30 minute flight time on the drone itself and this battery right here is a 2s 5000 milliamp so way bigger than some of the other dji3 alternative drones we've reviewed on the channel so there it is boom big 5000 series pack and i'm hoping to get plenty of flight time on that it also has leds on there which is cool and enough tech talk Let's just show you the proof in the video and I'm gonna go ahead and switch over now. We're gonna go out to the field together. We're gonna to fly this SG906, which is probably one of my best picks right now for the DJI Mini 3 alternative uh, for less than half the price. Uh, you can get started here. And that's my recommendation with over eight years on my drone channel. Start with something cheaper, move your way up and that way you don't make stupid mistakes as a beginner. Um, and you will thank me later. So subscribe on the channel and we'll hop right into the review now. Here we go. All right guys, we got it off the ground. Let's go ahead and check out the hover and the vision positioning system. See how well that's doing. Looks like it is holding a position pretty well. It also has optical flow on the bottom and it has that little sensor on the top in a 360, not letting it come near us a little closer. So we should be able to have obstacle avoidance and at full speed, you're not gonna be able to do that, but the transmitter will beep as well when you get close to something, which is kind of cool. So it does see me. If I walk toward it, you can hear it beep and it won't go any further. Check this out. If I press forward, it's not gonna go. So that's super cool. Hear that? Isn't that neat? So the beast is, uh, obstacle sensing is working that's awesome so let's go ahead and fly out over the field a little bit and we're just going to do some cruising here wow it's got it's actually pretty loud for for what it is 
but it flies really really smooth in flight mode number one it'll also do waypoints guys it has brushless motors and it's a little more expensive than some of the other toy drones it's probably in between like the mini 3 price and something like a toy drone but it's going to give you much nicer video you also have sd card support on board you can record to your phone so if you don't have an sd card out one day you can record to your phone which is cool but very smooth i'm happy with that we can also turn the camera up and down so you can see me there i'm going to move the camera up now i can move the camera down isn't that cool how's it going guys that is awesome so here it even sees me it actually it doesn't want to go toward me much further it has a pretty good range on the obstacle of avoidance i'm impressed with that because it looks like it's about 20 feet away and it sees me you hear it beeping beeping a little closer and if it gets really close it'll have a really strong beep isn't that awesome it's like a little robot sitting on top just looking around looking for things to avoid this is probably one of the best obstacle avoidance sensors that i've played around with in the last six months because i have done quite a few of them on the toy drones and some of them are only say three to four dollars and they're not got they're not that great they don't work that good let's go ahead now and let's go up a little higher and i'll show you the real time view here so that you guys can see it in real time and I'll show you the sticks here as we fly so you can get a good idea of how easy this drone is to fly. So here, if I let go of the sticks, positioning takes over and it holds position for us. Let's just turn a little bit there and get a shot of that barn. I love that barn right there. It's super cool. Really nice. And right now we're just cruising. I'm pushing full stick forward in mode one, speed mode one. And once you change into speed mode two, you'll notice that it changes its angle a lot and forward. So uh, we can long press here, and now we're in the high speed mode. Man, those sparrows do not like that drone. So now we're cruising at about, I'd say 30 knots or so. Um, I would say it's a little over 30 miles an hour for this drone. Just took a little dip there on that turn. But it seems to be pretty fast in that mode. That's pretty cool. Awesome. And if you let go of the sticks again, it's just, it was almost feeling like airplane mode just then. But you know what? I have seen people do tests, range tests, and they're well out of a thousand meters with this drone. So if you're looking for a drone that has nice range as well, this one has a ton of range compared to like bug series drones. Let's just bring that camera up a little bit. Man, this is looking good. And obviously, you know, this close, I have not yet lost transmission on my phone, which is super cool. And it has follow me. It has waypoints. It has another mode called spiral mode. So you can actually do like a DJI style, like spin up and spiral around something, which is awesome. Just gain a little bit of altitude. I'm feeling really comfortable flying this compared to anything else I've flown recently. This is really good. God, the footage is just gorgeous. So if you want to, you know, you can uh, you can hover and point your camera down and get that cool uh, that cool shot. You could take a snapshot as well. That's a pretty picture right there. Let's take a snapshot of that. Very nice. I'm still recording video. We're just gonna spin around here, check out our view. And this, you know, this drone should get you around a 30 minute flight time on a full charge. But we're just doing a short demo today just to show you how awesome this drone is. You can get it with the two and three battery combos, I believe. You can still use my code too, guys. BG Davis 2021 is still active to get you like 8% off and there we go we are just cruising really enjoying that you know and if your camera angle is too low when you're in that high speed mode you can always bring that camera mode up and I wouldn't say it has the greatest definition for the clouds up top you can see some of that's kind of blown out but 
if you record in full full resolution you should hopefully see a little better definition in the clouds there I just saw a little bit of break up there a little bit of lag there's a nice beautiful barn over there as well so many beautiful barns out here you can get some really cool shots and I really do have a great connection to this drone And it also has low voltage return to home. So you can come back to home. And right now, guys, we have like 18 satellites. That's freaking awesome. I'm just taking a slow turn here back toward the field. All these beautiful houses up on the hill here. Coming back this direction. Going to turn around. 19 satellites. That's awesome. And up here at the top right you have how much room you have on your sd card so it'll support up to about a 256 gigabyte sd card and you need to have something that's going to write about 30 megabytes per second on that sd card so when you're looking at specs to buy an sd card guys make sure you grab one that's going to able to write 30 megs a second and right now it looks like it wants to come over here and land because we're at low voltage so we're just going to come down and descend going to go up to a specified height and it's going to come down over here and took off just beyond this fence right here but you can also get out of the GPS return to home mode and it's pretty simple you just press GPS off right here in the very middle right here I just press long press it and it should take me out no it's not taking me out it's li I'm lying to you guys it's not doing it let's see but it's going to come down and land itself i'm going to see if i can pop it out of that mode i always like to try to do that maybe here cancel long press there there we go and it'll beep when it does it from the transmitter but it's in a low, it, right now we exit it. Okay, so you can exit it. I'm just gonna fly back over this direction and we're just gonna land in the grass in front of me. It has an auto landing mode. So it'll see the ground once you get close. And I'll just flip this camera up so you can see what's going on. So you can see the drone itself coming down. Beast 2. It was the SG, uh, 600 series pretty cool I love the way this one looks it looks like a little mini Mavic doesn't it and see how it moves around in space when GPS mode is off it's gonna drift but when GPS mode is on I just turn it back on it's gonna stay in one spot and I wonder if we could do a hand catch even though it has this obstacle avoidance we could try to do a a landing don't try this at home there we go okay i just pressed the land button here sg906 max 2 uh yeah <laughs> electronic stabilization control super smooth flying and a really nice looking drone leds all the way around obstacle avoidance on top that actually worked for once um this is a good one i have I have no reason to say anything bad about this one because it flew great. It had it had no almost almost no lag. Way better video uh, drone to, to to phone transmission than a lot of the other drones out there right now. So um, this one's on my good list, guys. SG906 Max 2, um, definitely a good upgrade compared to the last one. And I got two batteries, guys. Uh, three axis gimbal and sd card support foldable and still cheap way cheaper than the dji mavic mini 3. Uh, the mini 3 is going to be around 700 dollars so um, it's not a comparison but it is an alternative so i like to show you the dji mini 3 alternatives on the channel and this is one of the best ones yet so far so i appreciate you guys please do subscribe on the channel i'm justin davis take care guys and i will see you on the next one